Hello, hola, and bonjour, everybody. It's Matthew from McCroyo Bros Bodybuilding MB3. Today, I'm here to talk about how DOMS can be actually limited, especially in a beginner, and how what part of the exercise actually contributes mostly to DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. Now, before I get into it, as you know, some of you may know, I'm studying to become a personal trainer. Now, in this book I have, I've been reading up on it, and I found a section about muscle soreness. And basically, basically what it's saying is that DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness, now that is after you work out, in the next 24 to 48 hours, you'll start to feel the soreness, almost pain or aching in your muscle that you worked. Um, and that can last up anywhere, it could last up to 10 days. Now that's a little extreme, but usually for me it starts maybe 24 hours later, and then it lasts, it depends on how intense my workout was, but it lasts for about one to two days, sometimes more, like legs, when I work really hard. Anyway, this really interesting thing I got to is that it's saying what the most important part of a movement, what contributes the most to this muscle soreness, is the eccentric part, otherwise known as like the negative part of a motion. Let's let's say bicep curls, it's this negative part when you're coming down. Or in chest press, I'll have some examples up here. Or on a chest press, when you're coming down in this negative motion like this. Or even pull-ups, when you're up at top and slowly letting down. That is what contributes mostly to the muscle soreness. Now basically there's a lot of science to it. That's what breaks down these Z discs and breaks the active wave. But anyway, breaks these bridges. Anyway, basically all you need to know is that the most important part of an exercise is this negative motion. That's why, especially in bodybuilding, I always go with, you'll hear people say good form, slow and controlled, just like that. Well, they're not lying, guys. It's all about that form and the negative part of the motion. Now, especially for you beginners, when you start working out, I can't stress enough, you want to actually start, it's going to be hard maybe at first, but you'll want to start with lower intensity for the first about five to six weeks until you can build up to high intensity. That's going to limit the muscle soreness you're going to feel. If you come out and it's your first time working out or first week or so, and you're working out with your buddies and you want to try to impress them or something and you're pushing as hard as you can, you may get it, but you're going to be so sore the next day. And not that it's a bad thing, I actually love being sore. It tells me that I had a good workout. But you want, you're want you going to be so sore the next day that you may not be able to, like let's say you're doing um, like buys. You're so sore, let's say the next day you want to do your triceps or something. Or back. Let's Yeah, back. So let's say if one day you get your bias so sore, then the next day you have a back workout. If you're going to be so sore, these bias really come into play in these rowing motions when you're trying to work your back. So you're not going to be able to work for, to your full potential, and that's going to hurt your overall workout, especially if you go from bias, which is a smaller muscle group, and then you work your way to your back, which is a huge muscle group in your body, and you can't push to your full potential. So basically, if you're starting out, first five to six weeks, use lower intensity, even if maybe don't work out as long, less steps, less, less repetitions, definitely not going to failure. But then once you get up to the six weeks six week mark and beyond, you can train however you want, basically. Just, I want to stress that the most important part in exercising and working out, the important part of any workout is this negative motion. You'll see it um, in rowing, it's not this way, it's the negative back there. Anywhere where the gravity is helping you pull it, you're going to want to fight the gravity, but slowly let go. Slowly let down, just like that. And you saw the examples. So I would say, here's a little tip. Maybe not a whole workout, but maybe one exercise. Let's say it's uh, chest day. Maybe one exercise, like dumbbell um, fly or dumbbell press just on that one exercise just do your three to five sets however many you're doing and do that exercise slow and controlled with just negative just like that and then either have a spotter help lift you back up or just shoot them back up like in the video I was showing and then just really focus on the negative just try that on one exercise per workout and that 
is going to help with the DOMS and what's going to make you sore the next day and lead to the maximum hypertrophy in your workout, which is always the goal. So, hope you guys learned something from this video. You can go ahead and like the video if you did, share with all your friends. You can throw down a comment and even subscribe. Remember to check us out on Facebook, which is in the description box below. Check me out on Twitter at MCShorty73. I don't want to throw those things in. Basically, just do whatever you want to do. Hope you guys like the video. Remember, there's always more on the way. So, stay tuned.